Hi Libra, welcome to your unexpected reading for May 29th through June 28th. Everything you need to know about this reading, as per usual, is in the description box below. The recommended reader shout out goes to She Do Solology, and I'll have her link uh, in there. And check her out. Much love and support to her, and see what she has to say. If you like it, show her some love. All right, this is for Libra. The unexpected. What is coming in for Libra? Who and what is coming for you or towards you? Libra. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we've got we've got the Six of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. Wow. Someone's doing the right thing. So this could be reinvesting in a relationship only to find out new information that they were cheating. Um, and you're feeling disconnected or cut off or you're wanting to disconnect or cut off. You're feeling like, oh my gosh, like just like there's a huge void. Um, maybe you thought everything was working out or the question is, are things going to work out? This is also information being illuminated, realizations, epiphanies, that sort of thing. So you've got this, um, maybe it's a realization that this relationship was one-sided and you've been being cheated on or you're cheated out of what is due you the whole time, feeling like you're basically been taken or taken for granted. Six of swords. Wow, three sixes. Success. Probably doesn't feel like it though, does it? Huh. Six of swords. Let's do this. Three of wands. Eight of cups. I still see that. Nine of swords. Okay. Libra. Page of Pentacles, that would fit with this. This is somebody who is on the take, who uh, things, any kind of offer of stability is just in the beginning stages. If that, this could be immaturity. This could be someone always offering less than expected or strategically withholding. It could just be as simple as things are not as stable or secure as desired or as previously thought. But we've got Eight of Cups and Nine of Swords here. And I mean this, okay. So this is you transitioning out of this relationship. And I feel like it's pretty sudden. I feel like it, this is an epiphany realizing and then feeling cut off because of that. And we've got you transitioning probably with the help of friends and a an older, wiser figure that you trust, like a parental figure or somebody that can kind of be very uh, useful in extracting you from this situation, helping you move on, as well as helping you get some clarity. Um, this is being, this is emotionally being cut off and done with the situation and just trying to sort out your uh, feelings or how it happened, but you're emotionally removed already. You're disconnected from the situation. What's this Six of Swords? Could be cheating. It could be you just are not getting your due in the relationship. You just realize it's one-sided and I'm not getting, you know, and I I have to really think about my future and make strategic decisions for that. What's his Six of Swords about? So this is either moving on from a relationship where you thought you really had a connection with somebody and you're just completely, I don't want to say shattered, but just feeling like, oh my gosh, like the rug has really been pulled out from under you because of their betrayal or their disconnect, their discard of you, um, you know, disregard and then discarding you, that sort of thing, or you ending it. Either way, it's just, it's kind of gutted you right now. This could be an Aries. It's just Page of Pentacles about. Yeah. There's, a, I'm, not, I'm not saying, yeah, like, oh, I know, but the, I mean, there's that unexpected element here with the Eight of Swords and this, this really feels like the rug just feeling pulled out from under you. This Five of Pentacles. 
we got the tower that could be Scorpio, but this is all about realizing that it's probably never going to be enough with this person. Either what you're offering is not enough or they're never going to offer what you're worth. This is an offer that disappoints. This is somebody that is constantly in a receptive position and could be very manipulative or petty. Um, at the very least, this is uh, somebody that is just not capable of giving to the level that a situation requires. Uh, this could be surprise pregnancy. And we got a surprise, we got kids. So, the, uh, you know. What's this Three of Wands about? This could be a relationship of distance because we got the Eight of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Seven of Swords here. Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, Three of Wands, and Eight of Wands. All of these are about distance and travel or remote distances, whether it's travel by sea, by land, or by air. So, what's this Three of Wands about? Could be talking about a long distance relationship here that <clears throat> you kind of just realize it's just not going to go anywhere. It's never going to be, it's never going to progress where it past where it is with the um distance between you what's this three of wands mm. you're kind of hoping for a new beginning with this person you were you were thinking that that was in the works and then you find out that either they're not capable of it they have no intention of it they never did or there's an unexpected pregnancy by another person or the kids factor into it somehow or there was in fact cheating What's this Eight of Cups about? For Libra, what's this Eight of Cups? Seven of Wands. This is walking away. This is walking away because you know you're in the right to do so, that you've had enough, that you've taken enough, that you know that you've given your due, but that somebody is not giving back the way they should, that you perhaps are starting to slide into a one-sided relationship and you're not having it. And you're going to stand your ground and stand on your convictions and you're going to walk away. And, or this could be them walking away. That's, it might, that might be the unexpected element here. It could also be unexpectedly so that, but I don't think so. But for some of you, it could be that there is travel to meet the person or they're traveling to you or you're traveling to them um, because they believe that strongly in the connection. I think that this is, walking away but you're conflicted about it you're conflicted um or hmm. walking away and feeling conflicted but also because you so there's this element it's like back and forth it's both it's both because you you're kind of just shell-shocked because you're like you know i really thought this had the potential and this could have been, and even if there isn't distance, this is all about you being taken for granted and just being taken in general because of some kind of deception or betrayal or just, it's almost like someone's on the take and stealing your time and resources and not really, it never had any intention of giving it back or just not in a position to. So it's not really stealing, but it's like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were always dating other people or, or you know what I mean? Just kind of petty, kind of not really into it. And you were and maybe you were even led to believe that they were interested as well and so there's a lot of questioning and conflict even though you're walking away and i feel like this is you walking away i don't feel like you it's you being left i feel like this is you having an epiphany finding out that you know, i mean we got epiphanies here we got unexpected um information here and finding out something unexpected and then realizing and yet still there's that conflict or feeling conflicted about it. But there's also convi conviction here. Standing your ground because you know you're in the right. Still, the questioning and the reconsidering and the bargaining. Because this is sad. This is The Eight of Cups is walking away from something you've emotionally invested in. That you basically got no choice but to leave things as they are. You can't invest any more emotion. So, be... This is like the, the bargaining cycle of grief right here. What's this Nine of Swords about? What's Nine of Swords about? Three of Pentacles. Okay, you're, yeah, this is you grieving. Grieving, grieving. And... On the one hand, it could be that 
this is about you still this is about you spending time largely under yourself and by yourself and maybe with friends and maybe doing things but you're still this is very heavily on your mind but it's also you recognizing that you know what it's not going to change we've been here before you just you just still can't believe that it's come to this What's this sun about? Because this, you know, this is supposed to be happy. It's like, oh, yay. And then, no. Is this about things being illuminated? I think this is about epiphanies. I think this is about realizing that this is, I mean, it feels like this has kind of set you free. Okay. Because it's, there's sadness and there's debating and bargaining and going back and forth and grieving and realizing that, okay, yeah, you know what? We would have always ended up here. We would have always bickered about this and argued and, in a way, I kind of set myself up for, you know, the summer. Um, <laughs> going to have a good summer if you're on this side of the globe. Um, but it's it's just about brighter days ahead because, you know, here we got the moon, which is featured, and then we got in stormy skies, and then we've got things working out in the future, but kind of got to go through the dark night first and resolve this situation. Also, too, this is epiphanies, things being illuminated, problems being solved. <clears throat> excuse me, conflict resolution doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be worked out with a person. It just means that you're going to come to some realizations and epiphanies and awareness and you're going to be like, oh, this is good. I'm good. It, it did work out for the best in the end. It, it was for my best interest. All right. So what is... All right. So a confirmation for... What else for Libra? Anything else for Libra? What do they need to know? Anything else for Libra? Ten of Wands. This interaction, this situation, this relationship was a lot of work. So it's just as well and it just, it was starting to become a burden and heavy. And as well as the grief is probably pretty heavy right now, the sadness. This too shall pass. It's, this is the end of that. This, you don't have to deal with it anymore. Now is a time for you to, to be around people that are supportive and kind and also that of your choosing so that you're not drawn from anymore. Um, so this would suggest that this is a, an ending of a cycle for you, which let's be honest, if it's sucking you dry, that's a good thing. What else for Libra? What else for Libra? Two cards, please, Libra. Okay, so we've got the anchor, which is something that could potentially very... Uh, be very heavy and weigh you down. I don't like that being like that. Then we've got the... Is that the man? It didn't, no, it's the heart. That's what it is. I saw that. I'm like, man? Um, oh, that's the knight. Huh. That's an, the knight. Or that's, well, it's a, the jack. It could be knight or page uh this is the nine if we're looking at cards tarot cards this would be the nine of swords and this would be the page or the knight of cups so again with the nine of swords over here being very just like worried about this offer of love or not and the lack of an offer of love like giving not giving enough this just kind of this small pittance emotionally crumbs emotionally crumbs for security information connection all of that and it's just it's gonna i'm surprised the mice didn't show up because that just that ends up eating away at the foundation of a relationship and you can't you got nothing you got nothing um if we're looking at lenormand this is the anchor and this is the heart so this is something that is literally and figuratively probably weighing very heavily on your heart um that's the short of it this could be a we do have a ship featured here and water this could be that this long distance relationship or the emotional connection or lack thereof with a relationship that you were close, I mean, in proximity that you thought had the potential for settling down or being something solid and, and sure um, is actually not what you thought it was. Where you, whereas you thought somebody was faithful, perhaps they were not. 
We've got seven of swords here because this is about being faithful and devoted, um, stable, consistent, predictable, that sort of thing. So it, in turn, it could end up weighing things down, feeling trapped, feeling tied down. And it just, it feels like a burden on your heart right now though, especially when it comes to this romantic situation. But I mean, we got the sun here. This is realizations, epiphanies abound, brighter days ahead, and you being able to move through this. So I am sorry for your grieving. I, I mean, that's never any picnic, but um, it is, I hope it's of comfort to know that you've got brighter days ahead. That this, it, it, the realizations, the, all of that will serve you well because it's going to open you up to being like, hey, I don't deserve that. I'm, I've got more to offer. I'm better than that. I'm a good partner. I'm going to find a good partner if that's where you're at. If you want to. Some people don't want to find a good partner. But I mean, if, if it, that's what it is, you, you're going to realize that, no, it's this person's loss. Plain and simple. Libra. Libra. Okay, so this is the world reversed and the queen of cups reversed. So this is that disconnect we're talking about, kind of the... Um, the rug being pulled out from under you. There's no forward movement. The things have taken a turn for the worse and your self care and your, you're, you're just, you're kind of, I was going to say your self care is in the toilet. I don't mean that. Uh, but it's, this is about because of a setback, because of lack of closure, because of your heart being broken, everything just seems to kind of stop. The world is not turning right now. It, it just, it, there's no closure. There's no movement. There's a, a lot of unknown in the future, only there is what's known, but it's not very favorable. Like it's just painful. And this is, sorry, this is the King of Cups reversed. Sorry, King of Cups reversed. Um, and this, it that could represent like somebody who's cheating, somebody who maintains their position of power by being emotionally manipulative, guarding their own feelings, and yet they can be kind of tyrannical um, someone who is not willing to extend their emotions to be emotionally generous or balanced. Rather, they're very demanding and manipulative and they're not open, honest, or um, emotionally generous. And everything stops because of that. There's no more connection. Could be that this is also lack of closure because of someone's emotional manipulation. This could be a Pisces you're dealing with, Cancer or Scorpio, but it's just... Things are not progressing forward. They're not, this is not optimistic. This is an ending that there's no hope for a reconnection or renewal in the future. The situation just is not good. This is not emotionally healthy situation. Okay. All right, Libra. I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry. Um, it, I like though that you're very unexpectedly going to be like, you know what? No, even though I'm conflicted, I'm still walking away. Instead of staying and kind of dragging this out because that's, you know, it's painful. Huh. All right. Hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.